Okay, so right now, this actually just came out today, Robitussin Honey is actually being recalled right now. There's plenty of different ones that are being recalled. I know that there's the nighttime one and some other ones, but Robitussin Honey is on the recall list from the FDA, just came out today. I will put the lot numbers and everything in the description. You've got a cookie recall issued after a person dies from eating cookies in Connecticut. You even have cookie recalls going on right now. Spinach recall warns all these people living in these states, throw away these greens immediately, says the FDA. I mean, I it feels like that. spinach and things like that have been recalled a lot lately too, so be careful with those kind of things. Make sure you're paying attention to what the FDA is recalling when it comes to fruits and vegetables and things like that as well. And a charcuterie recall in effect. I don't actually see the one here that Costco and Sam's Club sells and the one I unfortunately have in my refrigerator. I don't see that brand up here, but a lot of charcuterie board uh, packages are being recalled right now. So you gotta be real careful with that kind of stuff. And the CDC deems meat sold at Costco and Sam's Club tainted. Hospitalization cases spike, already leaving several dozen people ill. Plus, if you have not watched Kevin 247 yet, make sure you go check it out after this because last night we discovered some dangerous food recall scares in our own refrigerator from a trip we made to Sam's Club just a couple days ago and all these foods are still found on store shelves. So people need to be careful about what they are buying and feeding to their families and their pets. Not just human food that's been recalled lately either. A lot of Purina stuff has been recalled for a lot of issues. So just keep your pets in mind when you're out shopping too. In all parts of the world and from each corner of the globe. Let's go look at a couple things in here. So right now you gotta be really careful because there are so many brands of charcuterie that are being recalled. Thankfully, there haven't been any chicken recalls lately. Um, even though they wanted to tell us there was bird flu everywhere, no chicken recalls. At least there's chicken on the shelves today. Now, one place I do see a lot of recalls, unfortunately, are going to be like your frozen chickens and things like that. Tyson and other brands. I've seen a lot of recalls for those, so be careful there. I remember when Capri Suns were recalled because they were finding like mold in the bottom of them. Somebody posted like on TikTok or Instagram or somewhere with mold in the bottom, so Capri Sun was like, uh, turn them back in. You even have cookie recalls going on right now. Not Chips Ahoy, thankfully, but cookie recalls are happening. That's, that's weird. What's still crazy to me is when there is a recall, you'll see the FDA will say, just throw everything away to make sure you stay safe. And it's like, why? You spent money on that. Why would you throw away your money that you spent? Take it back to the store. Get your money back. Make sure you guys are doing the smart thing there. I'm surprised there hasn't been a rice recall yet with all the plastic people have been finding in rice lately. I don't, whatever brands, I don't know exactly which ones people have been finding plastic in, but at some point I expect rice recalls to be on the uptick. I try to stick to organic stuff because I feel like if it's organic, there's a way less chance of there being any metal or plastics or anything in there. I know it doesn't mean there won't be, but I feel like this is a safer bet than non-organic. You know, this is off topic but I still don't understand this. I don't understand this right here. I don't, Spam and I don't get along, but I don't understand that part, the maple flavored Spam. Do y'all eat this? Please let me know, and why. Now thankfully Publix does not carry the brand of like the little squeezy things that were recalled because of the like exorbitant amount of lead that was in them. I think they were from Ecuador. I do this every single time. There was uh, too much lead in the cinnamon. Thankfully, again, Publix does not carry those, but you, there's so many things you have to be careful about that you don't even realize. Okay, so right now, this actually just came out today, Robitussin Honey is actually being recalled right now. There's plenty of different ones that are being recalled. I don't know if this DM one is the exact one. I know that there's the nighttime one and some other ones, but Robitussin Honey is on the recall list from the FDA, just came out today. I will put the lot numbers and everything in the description. And it has gotten so bad that one hospital had to close their doors and turn emergency room patients away, canceling and barring all admittance to the local hospital, leaving people in a panic and worried about what to do next and what will happen if they get sick or if their child suddenly becomes ill and has vomiting and explosive diarrhea. So breaking minutes ago, norovirus Surrey Hospital closes wards after outbreak. Now, the East Surrey Hospital in Redhill, England, has closed three wards following an outbreak of norovirus. The trust has requested that those who have had diarrhea or vomiting symptoms in the last 48 hours do not go to the hospital. 
Surrey and Sussex Healthcare Trust, which runs the hospital, said it was caring for several patients with the winter vomiting bug, and the trust said that ward closures would help stem the risk of further infection. Visitor access to the hospital's emergency department is also restricted, and a temporary restriction of one visitor per patient in the hospital's emergency department is also in place. It sounds very, very reminiscent of things that happened the last couple of years here in the States. Different disease, virus, whatever you want to call it, but... Uh, feels very familiar, right? Now, it is important to note this massive warning about how, how norovirus is one of the most common gastric infections this time of year, all right? Patients and visitors to the hospital have been placed under a mandate to wear a face mask during this hospital lockdown emergency protocol scenario. You all remember the norovirus outbreak that sickened hundreds of people that was linked to an ill food handler at a very popular restaurant, right? Hopefully y'all remember that. It's because the food handler prepared items, including salad, with ungloved hands, which is absolutely disgusting. It was a very scary situation, and the outbreak can spread very quickly and rapidly, causing people to fall extremely ill with devastating symptoms and potentially fatal outcomes. The Guardian also reported about how norovirus cases in over 65s in England was at highest in a decade, the most cases in 10 years, and this is likely only going to get worse. And these cases of norovirus among people over 65 in England, uh, having reached the highest level in a decade with care homes particularly affected and the UK health system or health security agency data revealing over 4,500 positive norovirus laboratory reports this season, which was 24% higher than the five season, five season average before the, the COVID pandemic. Now, with the majority of cases infecting those over the age of 65, with care homes experiencing almost uncontrollable outbreaks, the highest for any season, easily identified by norovirus symptoms that include nausea, vomiting, and the dreaded diarrhea. And when these outbreaks occur, people are advised to stay home and practice regular hand washing as alcohol gels do not kill norovirus. So just as a heads up, I mean, according to CDC and everybody else, it kills everything else under the sun, but it doesn't kill norovirus. So that's interesting there if you really want to jump into that. So get ready and get prepared because it's only going to get worse. But wait, there's more because there's always more because the norovirus is highly contagious and can spread through various means, some very surprising to lots of people, Kevin and myself included. And what I discovered last night after uncovering the meat we had just purchased from Sam's Club the other day could be included in the recent list of dangerous recalls that are making people sick, violently ill, and sending to the hospital is that the most common ways in which norovirus spreads include, number one, person-to-person -person contact. Norovirus can be transmitted from an infected person to others through close contact. This can happen by shaking hands, caring for someone with the virus, or being in close proximity to someone who is infected. Number two, contaminated food. Consuming food or drinks that have been contaminated with norovirus is a common mode of transportation. This can occur if the food is prepared or handled by someone with the virus or if it comes into contact with contaminated surfaces. Number three, contaminated surfaces. <laughs> norovirus can survive on surfaces for days or even weeks. That's lovely. Uh, touching surfaces or objects that have the virus on them and then touching your mouth, nose, or eyes can lead to infection. And again, <laughs> this all just sounds so familiar. Number four, airborne transmission. Norovirus particles can become airborne when an infected person vomits. Ugh. Inhaling these airborne particles or being in the vicinity of the vomiting incident can lead to an infection. So parents taking care of sick children who generally are in the room with kids when they're sick or even your spouse or even a friend or whatever else there's the possibility of spreading it just because you're or catching it i guess if you will just because you're trying to be there for somebody and help them which i would rather be there and get it than you know my child deal with something by themselves but that's just me number five waterborne transmission norovirus can also spread through contaminated water sources this can include swimming pools lakes or other recreational water sources that have been contaminated with the virus and giving its ability to survive in various environments and its high level of contagiousness Norovirus outbreaks often occur in crowded places such as dun -dun -dun -dun, schools, cruise ships, hospitals, and care homes, which is extremely alarming considering uh, what just happened a few days ago and how nearly 100 celebrity cruise passengers got sick in an unbelievably shocking norovirus outbreak while out at sea. The last place I would want to get any kind of sickness is out at sea, just so you're all fully aware. 
As reported by several outlets, I am not the first, this is not breaking news on this one, uh, a norovirus outbreak affected nearly 100 passengers on Celebrity Cruises Celebrity Constellation ship. Out of 2,056 guests, 92 reported an illness along with eight crew members with symptoms including vomiting and diarrhea, which if you've ever been on a cruise ship, and you've been in one of those little bathrooms in the, the cabin, it's tiny. And if there's more than one person in that cabin and all of you are sick and there's only one toilet, where, where are you going to go? If you don't have a balcony room, it's not like you can hang your butt over the balcony and, and hope that it, you know, flows by in the wind. But anyway, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC for short, that little three-letter agency, reported the outbreak and stated that Celebrity Cruises implemented increased cleaning, disinfection, and isolation measures, but this incident marks the first gastrointestinal illness outbreak of cruises meeting the CDC's notification threshold so far this year, 2024. We're only 24 days in and we've already had all of this. So that's that's fun. Odds are there will be even more as more and more people pile onto these ships and set sail because for, you know, two years or so we couldn't set sail. And now that it's back up and open, a lot of people want to get out there and um, I was going to say ride the waves, but I don't really think that's what goes along with this here. Uh, I can only imagine how bad it would be if one of those life at sea year round cruises. And if you throw into the mix some rough surf and chop, then it will be lights out on that shipwreck. But it is important to note how the norovirus is often associated with cruises. Second to that of the majority of norovirus outbreaks occur in healthcare settings like nursing home. Uh, now the ship departed from Tampa, Florida and was on a cruise to New Orleans, Louisiana, Belize, and Mexico. And Mexico, unfortunately, or however you want to phrase this, is seemingly ground zero now, and doctors are warning people that they should pay very careful attention to avoid contracting the highly contagious virus, and the latest norovirus alert has been issued, and the FDA warns of contaminated raw oysters from Mexico. Let me be the first one to tell you, if you're eating oysters in a month that doesn't end in ER, you don't eat them. January is not the month to eat oysters, just so everybody's fully aware. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, another little three-letter agency there, has issued a warning that raw oysters from specific areas of Mexico, particularly Bahia Salina, Sonora, may be a source of the norovirus. Restaurants, retailers, and consumers, especially in California, are advised to stop selling, dispose of, and avoid consuming oysters harvested from these regions. And the alert follows an outbreak of norovirus in San Diego County linked to oysters shipped from Mexico. They said that although the contaminated oysters may appear normal, Consuming them raw can lead to illness, particularly in individuals with compromised immune systems. And health experts emphasize the need to pay attention to alerts and avoid consuming oysters from the identified areas in Mexico. Again, don't eat oysters in January. Just, just a thought on, on my end there. I won't eat oysters at all. I think they're disgusting. It's like snot in a shell. I can't do it. I've tried it. Did not end well for me. It, they're not tasty, in my personal opinion. Listen, Squirrel Tribe. Thank you for watching this. Hopefully you got some helpful information from this and that um, recall that just happened today that I told you about and showed you inside Publix. Hopefully you do not have any of these things in, in your cabinet. Do not go out and buy them. I will put all the lot numbers in the description of this video so you can see exactly which ones have been recalled because again, this just happened today. Uh, but stay safe. I don't even know how to tell you to stay safe with the things you're eating and consuming because it feels like every single day there's a new recall, a new issue with something that we are consuming. So... Unless you can grow your own, we're all kind of at the mercy of all of it, which kind of sucks, right? Yeah. Anyway, Squirrel Tribe, I love y'all immensely. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a fabulous Thursday, my dudes, and I'll see you later. Bye. Look, I just want to show you all the difference, all right? So you have your Butterball turkey burgers here, and then you have your plant-based burgers here for people who don't want to eat meat because of ethical reasons or whatever else, whatever. Here, you get your ingredients, turkey some salt and some natural flavoring okay the problem here is like I said before you want to be good but this is just all chemicals and crap and just you're killing yourself with these things don't eat these if you want to be vegan knock yourself out but don't do it by eating fake meat